Not too bad. I haven't played it since high school. I just got this today on an auction. And I knew that this video was coming up, so kind of fought for it. And I got it. I own tuba. Isn't that amazing? So anyways, it's going to take some practice. Not everybody can find tubas on auctions. And that's where the latest library comes in here, which is called Valves, this new virtual instrument for contact by e-instruments. They make the libraries like Session Strings Pro and Session Horns Pro, which I love. And it just so happens that I recently had a euphonium added to my jazz combo, which is a little bit of a strange one for that kind of writing. But now I do have a euphonium in this Valve's virtual instrument. So let's just get right into it. I'll show you what I found out and you can decide if this is something you want to add to your list of virtual instruments. All right, so Valves is a phrase-based virtual instrument. That means it's got a whole bunch of phrases that can happen. You can make your own phrases. I'm not going to show you how the phrases work. They're going to have a great video. I am quite convinced. I haven't seen it yet. From what I can tell on an initial playthrough, it looks like this instrument is all about the phrases. And if you want to just play these instruments, then you have to choose an articulation. So it's not like it's set up like a regular contact library with articulations and stuff like that. I wish it was. I wish that we could actually just access this really easily with key switches on the different instruments. So let's have a look at the interface. Click on this little icon right here, which shows you your phrases and shows you your instruments. We also have a little mixer right here that you can click on each instrument and choose how much of the effects and stuff like that are being used. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is load up a patch that maybe has some interesting phrases. Watch what happens if I hold down one note. Or a chord. Let's go to a complex one. If you don't play chords, well, of course, in Machine, we can go over to chord mode, and we're just going to go to a chord set. I don't have a camera on there today, but let's just go to minor two, and we'll try some chords out. That's pretty cool. Let's take it down an octave. Now we're getting to the tuba. Oh, this one is really neat. I was trying this one before. Just noise. hitting the brass instruments, which we always got in trouble for when I was in concert band when I was a kid. Let's try Dizzy Heights. Now let's try Waterfall. Let's try playing around with the uh, mod wheel. Let's see what is actually happening under the surface here. So if I click on this button, I think that's where we're going to see the different phrases for the different sections. So I can mouse over the tuba, I can hit the solo button, and now I'm just hearing that phrase. I can click on this one little articulation, hit the magnifying glass, and then change it to like maybe a staccato. So now it's... We got our different instruments. We got tuba, euphonium, which is that sort of smaller tuba. It's kind of cool. It's good timing for me to have a euphonium. Uh, trombone, I have a trombone as well. I've used it in some videos in the past. I don't play it very well, but I play it enough to honk out a bunch of notes for things like my YouTube channel. And I, now that I've got a tuba, I'll probably do the same thing, maybe practice it a little bit more. And then we've got French horn and flugelhorn. And flugelhorn is another one that we don't have a lot of 
a lot of representation of in sample libraries. So it's neat to have a flugelhorn. So what I found is that if you want to use some of the regular articulations, what I did is just went to basic and, and I chose the preset slow swell. Let's have a look at this one. That tuba sounds so good. And now you're seeing just one articulation. And the way I did this is I just went and turned off all the other ones. And we'll start with tuba. Let's have a look at what we can do with different articulations on this. But if I click the magnifying glass, I can see the different types of articulations. We've got a... Uh, and I can also click true range so I can see all right this is getting close to the top range of an actual tuba player so uh, if you wrote a part for a tuba player above that they'd probably get kind of mad at you and then the lowest notes are always going to be the lowest notes you can actually play on a tuba because you run out your lips can only flap so much it's just like a trumpet and then I can also go in, click the magnifying glass, uh, and let's try staccato. So one easy thing you could do for this is you could call this one tuba short, and then you could duplicate this one by option dragging it over. And we're gonna call this tuba long. And that way you could have two different articulations. So any, any short passages, you go over to the short tuba, any long ones, you cl click on the long one. Let me do the same thing for euphonium. I'll pull that up. And here's the trombone. And for trombone, up till now, I've been using uh, Session Horns Pro, and that's made by the same company that has made valves or partnered with Native Instruments, which is this E Instruments. And they just do fantastic stuff. I love the sound. They don't have like slides and articulations like that on the trombone. So in some ways, you might be better off going over to the Session Horns Pro library for something like a trombone if you're just going to play it in. And then we'll get a French horn here. <laughs> Same thing, switch it over to Essential Sustain. And then last we've got the flugelhorn. So you can hear some effects on all of them because I've been copying and pasting them. They're all gonna have the same effects on them. But if I click over on the little mixer tab, you can adjust the levels. So I can see where these are panned. And I can see concert hall reverb on them. And then we've got some EQ and some compression and delay and stuff like that as well. There's some really neat patches in there. I'm gonna go and find a drum beat to go along with this. So I've got the uh, Good Cake kit loaded up here from uh, Faded Reels. And let's just put in a little beat. let's get things going with a bit of a chord progression. So maybe I'll put in a Rhodes. I'm gonna go over to Arturia's Stage 73. That one's on sale right now, by the way. The whole collection is on sale, rather. So I'll put a link to that in the description. Okay, next thing I'll do is put a bass in there and then we'll get to the horns. All right, it's just got a massive patch called Analog Buzz.
I'm going to use this preset called Sample, and it is under the fast rhythmic category. And it just seems kind of like it's going to work perfectly with this little beat that I've got. Okay, so you can hear those little shots at the end. If I held down the, the phrase even longer, I got the rest of it. It's doing some staccato stuff and then building up to this swell thing. And I could probably just take this and shorten it if I want to, to make it a shorter phrase. Anyways, this phrase stuff is actually pretty cool. All right, I don't know what this is, but I gotta show this to you because I played something in with the tuba short articulation. So we've got this going here. And then I went to another patch here, and this is kind of all of them. So I'm just gonna call this all horns. And what I've got here is I just kept stacking on top uh, a single staccato articulation. So click on the euphonium, click the magnifying glass and went to essential and went to staccato. And, and then I heard one note and I thought, okay, well what, it's not uh, polyphonic. So what happens if I put a trombone on a staccato? And you can hear this dividing up between the euphonium and the trombone. So I added that to the French horn and added on the flugelhorn as well. And now when I play chords, it's actually dividing it between those voices. So another really interesting way to work with this library would be to load up single articulations like this. And then you, now you've got yourself, you're split apart voices of the horns. Just one other use of this software. So I'll play this really weird little thing I've got here. I don't know what I would use this for, but just gives you an idea of what kind of stuff you can do with these sounds. And I do feel like right now I'm playing it with kind of a hip hop beat. And of course you can do any instrument with any kind of beat, but this is probably gonna be geared a little bit more towards that orchestral soundtrack kind of stuff, which I should do in a totally different project. But this is what I've got here for you today. So let's play it out, hope you enjoy it, and check out lots of other videos on the software to see if it's right for you, because you gotta make sure that you're gonna get a lot of use out of these instruments. So here it is, valves, and uh, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and the bell if you're new here.